Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 104. And we are talking about abundant fall table ideas. And oh, it's just a luscious time of mm-hmm. year to be So I'm so table. excited. You know, I don't usually do a lot of fall stuff, but I went to the store yesterday and went crazy buying stuff. So I'm so ready for this episode today. <laughs> well, I know you got oh, those 69 go, cent baby booze, right? That's right. This I did. Right. <laughs> and more. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I hope you came up with some ideas to share. Mm-hmm. I, I love did. a cozy and casual yet elegant fall table. Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes I just like to set it and have it, you know, maybe not with the plates or everything, but kind of go over the top a little bit in the my centerpiece just because I love this time of year and all the things that you can add mm. in, all the natural touches. So... Um, I would also might suggest that if you have purchased my book, My Soulful Home, A Year in Flowers, take a look at particularly the November arrangement because I have an arrangement for every one of the months. Mm. So beautiful. Thank you. And November is kind of a little bit different. It's, 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 I'm using Submidian orchids, but the way that it's low and it spreads across the table and you can kind of rift off that concept and Mm -hmm. use even just branches and things like that. And Anita, why don't you tell them since, I mean, you're on your second, you're on, working on a second edition, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I, I am. And Good for you. I'm amazed. Yes, yes. But yes. But Happy the, for the, you. Yes. The mm-hmm. uh, French accents. So it's not just fall. Well, it's not mm-hmm. fall decor, but it is uh, about adding these farmhouse French touches to your home. But it's it's mm-hmm. been out um for for a while, but it's it's um, it's it's. I'm really pleased that it's it's gotten such a great reception and it's yeah. selling really well. Beautiful so books, I, ladies. Yeah, so it's got lots of ideas on there on how to add kind of touches to your home and not do it where it's where you have to start from scratch. Just kind of adding small things that make a big difference. So mm. yeah, awesome. Thanks for yeah. asking. So pretty. And so many small things can make a big difference on a tabletop. So Yvonne, mm-hmm. what do you like to use on your fall table? No, no one likes to set a table more than I do. That okay. is I true. might challenge mm-hmm. you on that. One. Okay. <laughs> I love it, but she's, I'll tell you, she mm. loves it, loves it. Loves I do, it. I do. And I just, I think I'd love to write a book just on nothing but tablescapes. Um, but I'm thinking there's so many ways you can attack a, a fall table. It can be warm and cozy near the fire. It could be in the kitchen. I'm going to think outside though for right now. Mm -hmm. And instead of using a tablecloth, and this is what I'm so into recently, put a tart and throw over your table. Oh, I love that look. And if you use like a real wool one, they Mm -hmm. don't, I mean, everything sort of rolls off them. They're pretty easy and, um, and stain resistant and probably unless you would spill red wine or something like that. But, um, a tart and throw looks great gorgeous on a table. Well, and the thing about the wool is people don't, some people don't realize that wool has some natural oils in it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I have so many wool rugs in my house and they really, people don't believe me, but they don't stain. No. No, it's true. It Mm -hmm. kind of doesn't even soak in right away. That's right. It's a little water repellent-ish. So, okay. If we're starting outside Mm -hmm. and I'm picturing, you know, Yvonne's table now with these throws thrown on them, but how about if you've got chairs or benches around the table, just going to a uh, home goods or TJ Maxx and, you know, usually for somewhere between like 12 and $14, you can get cozy, but inexpensive throws. Now, wouldn't that be a treat if you're sitting outside mm-hmm. and someone, should, and you could either sit on it or you could throw it around you as the, you know, the evening's coming on or a little bit of a breeze. I think that's just such a lovely touch if you're going to mm-hmm. have people sitting outside in the fall. Well, I've talked oh, about my yeah. Southern girlfriend who lives here and she always has a beautiful table set in her home and she has, oh, she entertains a lot. And that's, she entertains like in the dead of winter outside mm-hmm. and we just come bundled up and she has all these gorgeous faux um, 
uh, for throws that we just put on our laps. Well, and, that's what I was oh, going to say. So get that lamb, get that lamb's wool mm-hmm. rug. Mm-hmm. It can be real. It can be fake and throw mm-hmm. it in a chair. That's what I do in the winter or put it over a bench. Um, the other thing is you can do the hide rugs real or fake oh. and throw with that. How about that for your, on top of your table? How pretty is that? Oh my yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. This is I'm really gonna... getting a little extravagant. I love that. <laughs> oh, <Oh, yeah. laughs> I'm going to talk about whether it's inside or outside. If you buy those or just cut them yourself, like a, take a log and cut slices of it, small slices mm-hmm. of it. I have, and I'll put my, um, source on our on our show notes i have these beautiful logs that have these little tiny ball feet on them you know like a slice of it and i use them as a charger oh yeah that's that's nice. a great idea mm-hmm. and i have smaller birch ones that i use as a uh for your you know, for drinks like a coaster oh. okay so here i went crazy in the vegetable section and i'm going to tell you one of the things i got for my table are, no wait no wait what oh what no are veg- we not there yet no, I'm thinking, are you in the grocery store or are you at Home Goods? I went to my favorite store, Trader Joe's. Oh, okay. You are in like a grocery store. Okay. No, I was in the, no, they're real. They're real. Okay. Little Brussels sprouts. <gasps> oh, they yes. are gorgeous to decorate with. I mean, I've forgotten. I've used them mm-hmm. before in bowls. They're Were just, they on the stocks or did you just the bags of them? No, they're just, they're in a bag. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just going to put them in a bowl. I They're beautiful to photograph and they're just yeah. gorgeous sitting oh, out. What and a here's the thing. Idea. So when you're, you know, sit them out for a while, enjoy looking at them. And then you put your baking tray with some olive oil and mm. salt and pop them in the oven, roast them. You probably want to slice them in half first. And they are absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. I just made the Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's last night, but they come in a bag, the sliced ones. It's already sliced. Oh, I saw like those slivers. too. Okay. But oh, you I, up- I have bro- like a broccoli slaw. Kind of. Yes, yeah. yes. But you want to blanch mm-hmm. them in the microwave for like a minute or two and then put them on the, you can put them on the tray with a drizzle of olive oil and a little salt and pepper and Parmesan cheese and oh. roast them super fast. Oh, okay. This okay. Is, this we have now turned a into show. a cookie. Exactly. I know. <laughs> Back All right. on track. Back mm-hmm. Okay. The food has not arrived yet. We're decorating well, our table. No, but the food to decorate it with has. So well, we, and yeah, you know, I've done- food. Or you can just get a big dough bowl, and I've done that. Take cabbages and and artichokes and pomegranates and all these beautiful, beautiful beautiful veggies and fruits. Fill up a dough bowl and then just put them in your fridge and eat them. Right. And you can take the dough bowl Mm -hmm. and put it down the center of the table, which is nice and low. It's Mm -hmm. not going to block anybody's vision Mm -hmm. from the person across from them. And you can just tuck in little sprigs of flowers. Now, if you think your party is going to last a long time, Mm -hmm. you can even get those little plastic, um, kind of like the boutonniere Uh uh, plastic. I know what you're um, talking about. They're not syringes, but they (laughs) kind of look like that. And you stick the the flower in there. They're water caps. The little Mm -hmm. water caps, right? And Mm -hmm. you tuck them into the vegetables. And so then you have these beautiful flowers uh, artfully Mm. tucked in to your long dough bowl. And that is fabulous. Right. So they had the – Oh, the seeded eucalyptus leaves that you can yes, use as a base right. and then put your vegetables on top. But yep. I have an olive tree in my backyard that is just fabulous. So I'm going to trim those pieces, put mm. it on uh, the, my uh, table runner, and then put maybe those uh, Brussels sprouts on there. I got you know, maybe some eggplant. Uh, you know what I got that I'm so excited oh, about? Oh, eggplant would be beautiful. Uh, figs. The figs oh, were oh. glorious. Or oh, did you cut them in half? Well, not yet. Oh, they, I mean, I, mean, I, just, I would cut I them in half them. to use. Oh, they're so beautiful. I mean, they're just beautiful. I, I want to photograph them and then we'll cut them and eat them. Oh. Okay. And well, well, I have a fig jam recipe that I will put, I'll put in the show notes. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm so hungry. We're, we're going to stay, <laughs> we're going to stay on the, the, uh, in the vegetable aisle. <laughs> I'm saying, and I've done this and this is so pretty. If but there's such, such little, a great way to decorate yeah, your table. Yeah. If you get tiny pumpkins, like the little, uh, Jack B. Nimbles, the red or the little baby booze. And you can carve them out and put a votive in them. Yeah. At every place. That's so pretty. Well, and like you said, the pumpkins, they come in mm-hmm. so many sizes. The baby mm-hmm. booze, which would fit in a champagne glass. But then mm-hmm. there's a little bit larger size that's just right for a cereal bowl. Yeah. And then, yes, yes. you know, on up to the really big size. So, you know, mm-hmm. an assortment of those. I saw assortments of all kinds of squashes. And there's so many. And I love 
this is the thing. There's so much of the fall stuff that just isn't going to work in my home. It's country French and a lot of the fall stuff that you buy in the stores, it's just not going to work. But the natural elements, these fruits Mm -hmm. and vegetables are beautiful with any decor. That's That's the great thing about it. And then cook it later and eat it. Mm Mm-hmm. That's yeah, exactly so right. Thrifty, and I'll put they? I'll put my butternut squash recipe. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've, if you get, you know, just those to decorate with, they're so good to eat. Um, here's while we're talking about natural items. Um, I just did this for our fall tour, uh, uh, Be Home Fall Tour. I Some of our trees are already turning colors, oh, the, the tops of them. But I had this one branch that on the sort of low that was turning these gorgeous tones of red. So already? I, yes. Now, oh, wow. now we're still primarily green here. And, and of course we we're taping early. So maybe by the time um, this tapes, this goes live rather uh, it'll start to turn, but yeah, the, there's definitely some turning already. But anyway, I took this beautiful branch and broke it all up and put it in a, um, and just put a couple sprigs in a big pottery crock and it looked so beautiful. And you could do the same thing like down your table. Just get like maybe just clear, small, square, which are my favorite vases. And just put like a couple little tiny branchlets, not even big branches, just little branchlets. I think she made just branchlets. yet another word. Oh, she- <laughs> That's me. Webster. <laughs> and I love and so the, the thing that goes with all these natural elements, the mm-hmm. vegetables, the, mm. the th- cuttings from your yard are the wood mm-hmm. dough bowls, wood mixing uh. bowls. Get out that those mm-hmm. wood pieces and or, or a wood cutting board. It's going to work so beautifully with all of these mm. things. And I have actually seen wood cutting boards used as chargers. Oh, yeah. And yes. they oh, yes. are gorgeous. Well, okay. Or like you said, the, the wood that's been cut. The mm-hmm. tree trunks that have like been like a cut. log slice. That's what I call them. Log mm-hmm. slices. Those mm-hmm. would be great for a charger as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that idea. That. Um, I have a couple of ideas for place cards. Now, I think place mm-hmm. cards is just a fabulous little touch that makes everybody feel special and really elevates a, a holiday table or a nice dinner party table. You're not going to necessarily have place cards, you know, when it's just your family around mm-hmm. and everybody knows everyone's name. <laughs> okay, so um. Three ideas that I have for fall table place cards are my cinnamon stick place card. So you take, a, you know, just get a little can of this, the cinnamon sticks or a little mm-hmm. bundle of them. Mm-hmm. They don't have to be super long. You could even do it when it's just like three or four inches is, is really actually perfect. And you're going to thread a little twine or pretty little ribbon through it and loop it around. And that way you can hole punch a little tag and the, write the person's name on it. Oh, okay. how so then, But then you have the opening at the top. And now you're going to choose flowers and greens that can last a little while because obviously we're not going to put any water well, what in about a What so about maybe, a rosemary sprig? Yeah, so oh, you can do a rosemary like sprig mine. and maybe a little mum and maybe a little juniper berry, something a little berry or mm-hmm. a piece of boxwood. And it is so adorable. It's like a tiny little nose. So is the nose stick egg. on its side or is it sticking up like it's a vase? No, you're going to lay it down on the on okay, the on plate, its side. Mm-hmm. You know, on its mm-hmm. side. So it's going to be laying flat, horizontal. And then you have the the ribbon or the twine coming up and through, and you can tie it in a little bow. Before you tie it, you just hole punch a in. little card stock, mm-hmm. and you write the person's name, and then you just slide that through. And the last touch is to put in your little sprigs, and you just stick oh, them in. You can get I like, you could probably get one mum, a piece of boxwood, and a little stem of berries or something and oh you know it's God. obviously pretty. tiny very pretty. i've even well, done you know, it with roses I did the I, little tea roses they last a long time mm-hmm. well, and I then really my love oh go ahead go ahead well just to, to finish up on place cards and then i have another idea which is um corks Again, super oh, I easy. I love corks. I did, mm-hmm. I did these for Christmas time. So for these, all you really need to do is make a hole in the top of the cork. And then you can – for Christmas, I did boxwoods, but you could do something more fallish. And then I used um, – I used that red and white baker's twine because it was more Christmassy time to tie around the boxwood. And that's how I put the little tag on it. So cute. Oh, cute. Oh. Well, it really kind of goes with my, I, lo- I mean, I love that idea. And kind of to add on to what you're saying, I mean, it's so beautiful to have something like that that's like a takeaway. Yeah, it's like a little gift guest. too. 
Yeah, it's like a mm-hmm. little, you know, party mm-hmm. favor. So, you know, kind of going along those lines, I love using the little vintage. I have a little collection of antique liqueur glasses, little stemmed, oh, yeah. little stemmed glasses, but they're teeny tiny. And then just to put a sprig, maybe just some blooms from your yard. I mean, it's not really big enough for a like a regular size rose sure, or something, sure. but you could just put some greenery, like you said, some boxwood or some uh, rosemary, just some blooms from something in your yard in there. And ju- it's just so small, you don't have room to put much. Right. But I love the idea of everyone having their own floral arrangement on their mm, plate. How, yes, I love that too. Or And then they can take it as a lovely parting gift. Now, I wouldn't let them take my little cordial glasses, but no, you, you have know, to collect those at the door. Mm-hmm. Right, I mean, right. you can get, you can take a, a pumpkin well, you put and tie Dixie a pretty cup, little ribbon on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they can take a pumpkin home. I just yeah, think the those ideas are with so the name beautiful. Tag is a great mm-hmm. idea. Mm-hmm. Or make a leaf for the pumpkin and put the name on the leaf. Well, and my I- very famous scrubber pad pumpkin. Well, which can yes, be. Yes. That's my third idea. And they, right. they, they rise We're gonna to the top again. We're going to call you scrubber pad wilderness. Exactly. <laughs> Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Um, I think the whole idea with the fall table is just, it's, as we're saying, it's abundance. And that's why we mm-hmm. use that word in our title today. And it's just the lusciousness of the season and um, it's the harvest and cozy. Yeah, the harvest mm-hmm. is the whole cornucopia mm-hmm. thing. So, um, I, in a sense, the more on the table, the merrier for the fall, as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Because when you're using these natural elements, it's hard to look overdone. You know, it's not really blitzy or gl- blingy. It's just sort of natural. And if you keep it nice and low, people can see each other, add in some uh, layers, maybe a tablecloth and then a runner. 
use cloth napkins and um, tuck in some candles. Oh, yes. Just stunning. Beautiful. You can even take one of the the vegetables that you purchased and you can somehow attach a little name tag to those. I mean, wouldn't that be cute? A Just pair. Off that a head? pair is a beautiful. A pair. Oh, pair or artichoke. artichoke. Yeah. So artistic. Or, yes. I oh, have I to bought tell artichokes you. too. There yeah. you go. There you I'm go. I'm forgetting. I, I bought so much stuff. I don't even remember. Oh, I, I love artichokes. I could decorate with them and then eat them the next day. Um, girls, when you were talking about the cornucopia, I actually made one for a table once. This was in my Martha Stewart days. Yeah. Yes. When I was, they used to call me the Martha Stewart of the Southern end because we're in the Southern end of Lancaster County. And I made them, I, I formed this huge cornucopia. I mean, huge, like on the table, you could fit all kinds of things in it out of tin foil. Oh, yes. my and goodness. I know. And then it was like this big horn. And I mean, I just used so much tin foil to do it. That was sort of wasteful. And then I wrapped the whole thing in breadsticks. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Like I want to see rope. a photo of that. Like a big really. Rope. Mm-hmm. You better, you know, once, and this, then gets, I once this gets out, you're going to be asked to come and create a float for the Rose Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, they start with metal and then I don't mm-hmm. know anyone's used breadsticks, but, you know, flowers <laughs> and seeds. I, flower. Hey, flower. Yeah, that's yeah. right. But I just used like those uh, refrigerator breadsticks and made one big coil after coil and then braided a whole, uh, a big braid for the opening and took um, my, you know, you couldn't, I could barely fit into the oven. I had to take all my racks out <laughs> except the bottom and bake. And, and then you did an egg wash, the whole thing and baked oh, it. Oh my word. Wow. And actually wow. used it on a I'm table. I'm feeling so inadequate right now. Well, I yeah. mean, this was during, I was competing right? with Martha Stewart. So what can I say? Mm. Whoa. <laughs> I'm much, I, I, I'm going much more the simple route these days. Well, you, you, you make a better Yvonne. You're, oh, you're thank the you. Best, I'm so glad. Yes, 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 exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I do have a, another thing that's really easy to make, and I, mm-hmm. I like to use burlap on a fall table. It's just very textural, very mm-hmm, pretty, mm-hmm. and I make um, a burlap napkin ring out of cutting a toilet paper roll <laughs> and wrapping that in the burlap, and then letting some of that fringe end stick out, and I put a bunch of buttons on it. And it looked so pretty. I'll put that in the show notes. So easy. But again, it gave that lots of texture and warmth and Whoa. another layer. I'm still layer. dizzy from the cornucopia. I know. Like, I'm mm-hmm. still, I'm still Whoa. thinking about that. Well, Whoa. Whoa. we, I used to, I used to, I used to craft an awful lot when my kids were I want to see pictures of this thing. Well, I can show you. I actually made fake vegetables. With what? Out of it, what? Bread? <laughs> no. You know those, uh, what was it? Like those, tw- they they were paper twists. Remember that? Like ages ago, they were these rolls of twisted paper that looked oh. like, oh, oh yeah, I could yeah, unwrap yeah. those. I could make turnips. I could make potatoes and carrots. I could make pumpkin. I could make whatever you want. And they're kind of like, not. they're not paper mache. They're like heavy tissue paper, right? Yes. Kind of ri- ridgy, yes. corrugated yes. tissue paper, if you will. Mm, yeah. I remember those. I got into that. At one point, I mean, this was like way, 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 way back, mm-hmm. and so uh, yeah. But the real thing looks a lot better than, than the than the. Well, uh, and guess paper what? One. It's so much faster. Oh, I, I know. And you can I eat know. it too, and you can <laughs> eat it, right. which is a criteria right. for me. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Um, so you, you know, and your fall table done this way doesn't have to cost a lot of money. No, and it's so beautiful. And just, I'm going to, again, emphasize when you're doing the centerpiece, whatever that is, make it long, have it run though. So don't make the people in the middle feel like they're getting the special treat. Have it extend. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> That's but don't, a good point. Yeah. But mm-hmm. and don't have it go, uh, keep it under 12, mm-hmm. most yeah. likely for a dinner at home mm-hmm. or if you, 12 inch height, mm-hmm. or if you like something higher, then go over 20. Mm-hmm. So you but can normally look, that's look for it. Yeah, that's more mm-hmm. like for an event, or you might do something high mm. and then most of it low. You can do that, I think but you the have to have the better. separation yeah. for the you eyes. You still end up kind of looking around those tall things. Yeah, yeah, you do. 
So that's more for an event. Mm-hmm. You know, if the presentation of the cornucopia, you know, was blocking your view, I think you could deal with it because you oh, were mesmerized. Pe- oh, no, you were in awe. You'd be in awe. Yeah, you wouldn't even. No, I, no, see, no. And we would have been tearing that bread off to eat it and getting a hand slap, Kelly. No, because oh, I then I, I, then I shellacked free. it. Oh, you shellacked, oh, shellacked yeah. it? Yeah. Well, well wait. never mind then. It's in the basement. Shellacked. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's gone. Thank you. Well, yeah, I wonder if the mice would eat the shellac, though. Oh, oh we have, once in a while, we'll get a, mi- a mouse because we live, you know, when the f- uh, fields all get cut down, the, me- the mice don't know where to go. And once in a while. Like- no, they know. They go right into the cornucopia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have a mouse. I mean, we have a cat. So thank goodness he's a good mouser. So they stay away. Uh, I just think I think when you're thinking about um, fall tables, though, some people don't like to do like a use a lot of orange and I actually love to use it because we've talked about this in um, a few other segments. If you work in blue and white with orange, it's beautiful. And most people have, I think blue and white dinnerware and blue and white um, table linens are probably pretty common Mm -hmm. and you can put orange with that and it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It is beautiful. I've seen your arrangements. They're mm-hmm. it, they're gorgeous. Yeah, and even adding in a deep sort of suede looking brown is nice oh, with that combination gorgeous. too. Absolutely. Well, so I'm don't brown shy away from that. transfer wear at at Thanksgiving time. Mm. I'm starting to think about adding that into my life. Oh, oh brown love, transfer. I have one it's plate. It's a little addictive. I really like it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. So, and I I'm sure, well, I, I think probably Yvonne, maybe you too, Kelly. I've got several sets of dishes. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and so I have one set that I got last year and it's, it's some vintage. I think they're, they're English. I can't remember the, the manufacturer, but they have a very fall feel and oh. kind of some fall colors. So those are the dishes that I'm going to use for fall. So, yeah, I mean, I yeah. think it's fun to have. I love it. And here's the secret. You don't need So you may say, well, I can't, I don't have room for all these dishes. I don't have a service for 12 in every set of dishes Mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. I just have maybe four plates and may, and then I mix and match. So maybe I just have four plates in these and the cups and saucers, but I mix in a white, you know, cereal bowl or white charger. And, um, then those white plates just kind of mix with whatever else I have. Anita, here's what I'm going to say. You, all I need sometimes is salad plates. Yes. yes. That's or the great bowl. Size and then to, I yeah. use white things that go along with it. Oh, right. it looks beautiful. Right. I so have, have a set of, of um sort of brown, beautiful brown plates that have big, beautiful turkeys on them for Christmas for uh, Thanksgiving. I only have the salad plates, but I set a Thanksgiving table with all my white with that on the top. And that well, does I think that's really a great nice. idea because I yes. think the old way was, oh, you have to have the whole set. Match. No, you mm-hmm. don't. Just get mm-hmm. four or six or whatever. And you're right. Mm-hmm. You can just do salad plates, just do dinner plates. You can kind of just pick whatever you want. And then it's just so fun to have a set of dishes that you just kind of use for a particular season. And then since you're not, you don't have 25 or 50 of these dishes, you don't have to find as much room to store them. And then, and then it's kind of fun to go on to the next set. Then I've got my, then I pull out my Christmas dishes after yeah. these. Now that's, yeah. I, I think that's one of my biggest de- um, tablescape decorating ideas is just by, even if you can buy six, I have so many types of salad plates and they don't even have to be, let's say a turkey on them. They could just be some beautiful brown, uh, textural looking things. You can make that look fall. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. 
Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Oh, yeah. How about right. a depression right. glass Floral, or something, something like that? There's mm-hmm. something about the colors. It actually is blue and yellow and red, but there's something about the colors mm-hmm. that just, they feel very fall to me. Right. And That's they don't right. even have to match. You can find different ones mm-hmm. that, that yeah, just all sure. have that fall like, feel. I love that every other. Like if you yeah. only and then I also find have three dishes, three, the, find the three Lennox, uh, I also have the Lennox wheat dishes from my mother-in-law. So, I mean, that's just made for fall. Mm -hmm. And how about depression glass, even in Mm -hmm. fall colors? I just, I love that as a salad plate. So, you have your charger and then maybe your white or your ivory plate. And then you can put the the depression glass colored plate on top. You know, everyone's familiar with that, right? Mm -hmm. And then maybe you put your little place card, your cinnamon place card, or you put a little bowl or something or a piece of fruit on top of that. Bam, you're done. Well, I'm going to throw something a little different out. Um, and we've done this before on our side. We have a, a side yard. We call it the croquet lawn because it's perfect to play croquet on. And we've taken um, those just those big industrial tables that fold up, a couple of them thrown white tablecloths on them. And for seats, we've used hay bales with throws put over them. So cute. Isn't that fun? Yes. So So if you live where you can get hay bales, like if you live in the the country or something, and we just gave them back to the farmer when we were done. Oh, so wow. You just borrowed them. Gently used hay bales. We have our own hay, but they're the big round bales. You can't oh, use those Oh, no, to no, no. On. Yeah, you'd have to yeah, get the huge. square ones. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I know what you're talking I about. I want my own hay now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that as would exciting. be a little hard to do in Pasadena. <laughs> it's you not as that. exciting as it sounds, Kelly. I'm like in those old that. Dutch paintings, those big round rolls. Yes, of hay, yes, yes. You know? mm-hmm. But it's fun watching them, the baler come through and it just oh, kind of, it just like spits them out the yeah. back end. It's kind of mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but I that's mentioned a fun it in thing to do though. Rolling hay, yes. Uh, or a roll in the hay, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mentioned in passing, but I really do think if you're setting a lovely table, use the cloth napkins. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I know yes. I know like Kaspari and a few of these other companies, and I'm not they're disparaging beautiful. them. You have they to admit, beautiful. they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. But you know what mm-hmm. I would do for those? I would get those longer rectangular ones and put those like in, your you in your bathroom. the kind you use in your bathroom. Right. And put them in your bathroom as guest mm-hmm. towels. Mm-hmm. And, um, but it, it's just something about having a cloth napkin. And a lot of mm-hmm. people don't use them anymore. So like a place card, it elevates your table. Yes. Did I tell people. you this? Did I say this before? So if I did, it, forgive me for repeating it. One of my friends had the best idea. I mean, I just, I do not like to iron napkins. I do it, especially linen ones. She said, oh, no, Yvonne, I wash them myself and then take them to the dry cleaners to press. Oh, Oh, 
so you're not, you know, you're not, it's not, ha- it doesn't have a lot of chemicals and things on it because you're right. not getting them dry cleaned. Right, mm-hmm. right. You right. wash them yourself and you just take them to get pressed. Oh. That's ding, 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 girls. Come on now. Okay. I, think that- well, that's pretty <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I, I, I have was- to say, I'm, I'm withholding my ding. I, I, I know. know. Wow. I'm hey, that's a stingy because that. that is a <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That is a brilliant idea. I think I wanted to go back and give Mm -hmm. my tip of the day. Yvonne, this is not to hurt your feelings at all, but I think Anita got passed over with the just get four or six plates. You don't have to get the whole thing. I agree. Do you agree? I mean, fair is fair. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Because I do that all the time. Retroactive There you go. Anita, you're catching up. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh no, she's I'm not. Like, You're so far ahead. I can, no, no, I, keep I am track. So, so I'm just I'm just ahead. still eating your dust. Well, and because I I'm so self promoting. Come on, girls. Ding ding ding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like ding ding ding, Yvonne. Yes, I know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that that's, was a good suggestion. Mm-hmm. But you know, well, here's yeah, another okay. little napkin trick. Mm-hmm. Just don't put your dryer on. You know, not so dry. Whatever your setting well, yes, is, you get mm-hmm. them out before. Well, get they them first out. Come out. I know. I have it's time for that or a de wrinkle <laughs> setting. But you know, if you're doing linen napkins, that still doesn't do it. I like a crisp linen napkin, and yeah. I do not like to iron them. So I don't mind laundering them, but I'm I'm taking them to the dry to the dry cleaners to get so ironed. I love I love the linen table uh, the linen um, napkins. Mm-hmm. But sometimes if you're eating something messy, you're eating outdoors, a lot of times I use kind of a bigger hand towel for mm-hmm. napkins. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've used bar towels, which are fabulous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You right. can roll bar them towels. up. You can roll them up and tie a piece of twine and oh, throw so cute. a sprig or of something in them. Or even small, and- small Turkish towels. Oh, yeah. absolutely. With well, the fringe on them. Those love. Ikea we, we all ones. love that. Mm-hmm. You know yes, those Ikea yeah. ones that are kind of ecru with the Red stripe. Yes, oh, yes. I use those. Yes, those yes. are awesome. Mm-hmm. And they're cheap. Oh, yes, they are cheap. Mm-hmm. Well, before Which we, we like. before we have to go, let me just say this: mm-hmm. make sure you have a lot of candles on your table or lanterns. It's mm-hmm. fall. You know, we we want that cozy, beautiful candle light and that glow that uh, makes the fall table so beautiful. Yeah, great idea. Excellent. Mm-hmm. And your if you do lanterns or candlesticks, they don't have to be the same. No, mix them up. No, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. And I'm so ready to go. I mean, as soon as we're done, I want to go grab my Brussels sprouts, (laughs) my artichokes. I'm ready to set this table. For dinner. (laughs) I know. I know. My family's going to wonder why we have place cards for everybody today. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my goodness. This was so fun. It always is so, we so much enjoy hanging out mm-hmm. with you. We do. And uh, it's just our favorite part of the week. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us.